Welcome back to another multiples lesson. I know that we have been working on multiples for a long time and there is just a lot of work here because multiples work helps us do all of our other math. Knowing our multiples and our tables A and B and our multiples on their number facts, it's really important because that helps us do all of our other work. And so today I have my tables A and B and a new material or another material if you've already done this one before, I have a table C here. Now table C is really cool. Table C takes all of the learning we've done on tables A and B and puts it into a new way of looking at numbers. Because so far we have been looking at how we, how we skip count or count by a number, like two, four, six, eight, or five, 10, 15, 20. But now we're going to organize all of that learning in a new way. And so uh, I'm going to be using pencil or pen so you can see this. You need to be doing pencil because this is a work that you'll probably need to erase and change because it's easy to mess, um, like miss your line that you're writing on and have to go back. So make sure you're using pencil. See, we even noticed, even I make mistakes. All right, let's, let's go into another view so you can see my whole screen. So here's table A. And table A has all of my values up to 50. And you'll see on the front side of table C, it starts at one and goes all the way to 50. So the front side of table C matches table A. And so we're looking at our multiples here, multiples, and this is going to be a new way of looking at our multiples. So I'm gonna use my two sheets right kind of stacked together. I'm just gonna set my table C or table B out of the way. And so when I look at this, I am looking at all the ways on table A that I made one. Were there any numbers that I could multiply together to get one? There weren't because we didn't have any multiplying by ones by themselves. We just started with two times one. So we had no way of making one. Let's look at two. Is there any way that we made two on here? Right here, two times one equaled two. So right here, I'm going to write two times one. Two times one. That's, oh shoot, see, look at that. I already messed up. I needed to write it on my two line. Two times one on my two line. And that's the only way I can make two looking at table A. Now I'm going to look for how many ways I can make three. Can I make three with two? Nope. Can I make three with three? Yes, I can. Three times one equaled three. Okay, can I make it three any other way? I can look and see really quick. No, there's no other ways to make three. Okay, now let's look at how many ways we can make four. Oh, here's one way. Two times two was four. Two times two equaled four. And let's look if there's any other ways. Can I make four with three? Nope. How about with four? Yep, four times one equals four. So I already had one way, now I'm gonna have a second way, four times one. Okay, now let's do five. Can I make five with twos? Nope. Can I make five with threes? Nope. Can I make five with fours? Nope. Here's one way, five times one makes five. Five times one equals five. Okay, let's look for ways to make six. Here's a way to make six. Two times three makes six. Okay, how about with three? Yep, three times two. Ooh, two times three and three times two both make six. Can I make it with four or five? Six and six times one. There are three ways to make six on table A. Two times three, three times two, and six times one. Okay, you're gonna keep doing this for all of these numbers all the way up to 50. Let's do seven. Can't make seven with two. Can't make seven with three. Can't make seven with four. Cannot make seven with five. Cannot make seven with six. Here I can make seven with seven times one. Okay, so we did those easier ones. Let's choose something else. Let's choose 24. 
Let's see how many ways we can find 24. Let's see, can we make 24 with two? Yep, two times 12. Okay, can we make 24 in our three column? Yep, right there, three times eight. How about by four? There's one, four times six is 24. How about five? Can we make 24 with five? Nope. How about six? Six times four. How about seven? Nope. Eight. Nope. Eight times three. Nine or ten. Nope. Wow, look at that. There were one, two, three, four, five ways of making 24. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and continue filling out table C. Remember the front side, 1 through 50, is rearranging the information we learned on table A. The front side of table C is the same, that we get the same information from table A. And then when you're done with the front side, you're going to send me a picture of that. And then you can go ahead and get started using table B on the back side of table C. And you do exactly the same thing. It just takes a little while, but the work isn't hard. It just takes time. So I want you to take your information from tables A and B and add them to your table C. And I can't wait to see the pictures and check in with me and let me know how you're doing on that. I expect this work to take you a couple different work times. It's a lot of work to just sit and do straight through. So maybe you want to set a timer and work on it for 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there until it's all done. Um, or if you want the challenge of sitting down and just trying to get through as much as you can, you can do that as well. I don't want you to be frustrated with it though, so go ahead and take breaks when you need to. I can't wait to see your completed table C when you're all done. This isn't our last lesson with table C. Once you have it all filled out, we'll do another, another fun activity. Have a great day, everyone.